kids have been coming to North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains for the Blue Star Camp experience for 60 years. But this year, 13-year-old Nikki Jaffe experienced something she never expected. Well, I had a really bad headache, and um, I just, I felt, I just didn't feel good overall. And 11-year-old Jessica Bachner said she'd never felt so bad. It felt different than just having a fever. And your tongue way in the back. It was, in fact, likely H1N1, or swine flu, now spreading through summer camps across America. At least 50 have reported outbreaks, and the CDC is urging all camps to take precautions. Since the new flu is affecting people between the ages of 5 and 24 more than any other group, campers and counselors are especially vulnerable. At Blue Star, two campers tested positive and 35 others were believed to be infected, but none of the cases were serious. They were given antiviral medication and isolated. They would come in the first day with about 101, take their Tamiflu. The third day they wanted to go back to camp. Under the tongue, you know, way in the back. This session, Blue Star isn't taking any chances. Kids showing up with fevers are sent home. At the mess hall, sharing is out, hand sanitizer is in. Always use antibacterial or wash your hands before you eat. Are you going to be careful, Mason? I'll try my best. <laughs> Camps for kids with health conditions like muscular dystrophy or asthma have shut down altogether so as not to put more vulnerable children at risk, Katie. Meanwhile, Jennifer, what is the CDC recommending for sleepaway and day camps? They leave it largely up to the camp's discretion, Katie. They're recommending they educate their staff about how to detect signs of flu-like illness, isolate children who may be sick for up to seven days, and send them home at their discretion. And what about kids going to school this fall? What's in store for them? We will see an additional billion dollars allotted to a potential vaccine program due out in mid-October. The CDC will be recommending that school-aged children are at the top of that list, Katie, even if they've been sick this summer. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Jennifer, thank you.